My name is Nakaya Nichols. I will be interviewing my father, Nikela Nichols. The topic of this interview is the family that Legacy built. Thanks, Nakaya. That was an awesome introduction. Like Nakaya said, I am Nikeland Nichols, and I am the oldest child of three uh, from Ozera and Richard Nichols. Uh, we have a rich heritage uh, here in Alabama. As Nakaya stated, the topic uh, this is the family that Legacy built. It goes far beyond how old I am. I was born in 1976. Which to some of you may be <laughs> really old, but it's not that old. Not that old at all. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama. And our family in Birmingham has a rich heritage and legacy, the Civil Rights Movement. Our cousin, is the late Dr. James Orange, and he was born in Birmingham. Dr. Orange was the foot soldier for, uh, and organizer for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. If you saw the movie Selma, he was depicted in that movie also. Uh, he was influential the 1965 Voters' Rights Act. You say, how? What does that have to do with me? Uh, as an African American and as uh, a native of Alabama, uh, we didn't have the right to vote uh, in 1965. Everyone didn't have the right to vote. Or it was hard. They made it so hard for us to vote. He uh, asked for permission uh, through being the foot soldier for Dr. Martin Luther King to go over to uh, Perry County, Alabama to do a voters' rights forum, voters' rights protest. And when he got there, when he got to Perry, uh, they didn't like it. So what happened was is that the sheriff put him in jail. They said it was disorderly conduct and they put him in, in jail. They really didn't want him to do the protest for the voters' rights. Is that when they put him in jail, he was subject to be lynched. Those, those were the rumors that he, that he was going to be lynched. So the protesters continued to um, organize a march. And when they organized that march, there was a young man by the name of uh, Jimmy Lee Jackson. Jimmy Lee Jackson um, was, was at the march and his grandfather and his mother was there at the march also. Jimmy Lee Jackson, unfortunately, uh, got shot by one of the sheriffs of that time. Um, Dr. Orange was sad. Uh, more importantly, the, the, the Jackson family was sad, which sparked an outrage um, and, uh, and angered Dr. King. And he was a nonviolent person, but he went over and he said, hey, we have to do something about this. Dr. Orange was here to, um, to help, the, for, for help out voters um, and the Voters' Rights Act, and we need to continue. They did let Dr. Orange go. They freed him, and then they started the march to Selma, from Selma to Montgomery, um, which was called the Bloody Sunday March. Out of that came the Voters' Rights Act of 1965. Out of that came the Voters' Rights Act of 1965. And that's why it's so important that uh, we talk about the legacy and the, and the heritage for our family. Um, and that's on the Reese Robinson side of the family. And Nakai and her brother was fortunate enough to sing the song that was written by Stevie Wonder 
uh, the Happy Birthday song from Martin Luther King Jr. right after Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter, Bernice King, said the final address at the March and Rally. Yeah, so that's just a brief portion. That's the Robinson Reeside. And up around Birmingham area, there's what's called Reeseville, if you look on the map. Now, if you come on down south um, to Nichols Bracey side, it's that's um, my mother, my father's side. Uh, it's called uh, Nicholsville, and that's around Clark, Jackson, Alabama. That area has a rich heritage there too. Uh, the Nichols Bracey side uh, is. They were farmers and they owned a lot of land, an extreme amount of land that the Nichols owned. And um, tragically enough, some of that land had gotten taken from us, um, but we persevered. Um, Dr. Cobb and uh, Mrs. Pearlie Nichols, Father, he was the first doctor in um, Clark Jackson, Alabama area, Clark County area, and he delivered um, he delivered babies uh, there. And he was a medical doctor also. He delivered some of our government officials that are in office, public office, right here in Mobile. Delivered their family, the babies in their family, um, and it was it was exciting to know that. And also, uh, uh, Bracy on the Bracy side, we're part of um, government legacy uh, here in Alabama with uh, one of our representatives uh, that's a part of our family, Representative Bracy. Uh, so we have a rich heritage and legacy uh, here in the in the Nichols and the uh, Robinson Reese side of our family. That's why it's so important. To, um, to make sure that we know where we come from and where we're going. And this is the family that Legacy built. I am a graduate. Did I tell you guys that I'm a graduate of John S. Shaw High School? Doesn't that sound familiar? John S. Shaw High School, which is now what? Clark Shaw Magnet School. We are excited to be a part of such a great grand legacy and it is the family that legacy built and you can be great nothing 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 can stop you from being great don't let it <laughs>